Is that working? I think that's working. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick test of um, shadow play with microphone settings adjusted. And I thought what I might do is make a video for Chi, um, since he hasn't got this game. I don't know why I haven't got this game, Chi, because frankly, um, it's right up your street with all the sniping mechanics and it's pretty good maybe slightly glitchy in some places with the co cover but um, from what I've played so far it's pretty fun obviously solely based around doing um, sniping um, but what should we do let's do my noises you're laughing at my noises yeah. <laughs> um, let's do it let's do custom let's put them on really hard settings but I like the tactical assistant that's quite that's quite fun to use you get like spotting mechanics which you don't get in authentic like I think like having the spotting mechanics and stuff actually actually aids the game because it otherwise it's very two-dimensional if all you're doing is running around see someone shoot them you get like a better tactical lost to Brooke overlay my work and drawn the attention of British naval intelligence they've been following one of Hitler's protégés sent to Africa a ruthless advocate of nerve agents in the last war, General Franz Wallen. Their informant, close to Wallen, has gone dark, so they want me to investigate. My first port of call is the Gabaron Oasis, an Axis transport hub. Scout teams and commanders pass through here, along with intel. I have the cover of darkness on my side. There's a few officers in the area, so that's where I'll start my search. I can see plenty of elevation around the lake. Perfect to set up my rifle. If Valen's been here, there'll be a trail. And I'll find it. Right, so... You get quite a variety of loadouts. Um, you can... Customize your own full setups, and inside it, you get a sniper rifle, some kind of machine gun, or you know, close combat, um, fast firing job, a pistol. I've got a silenced pistol, which is all right, but it's very slow to reload. Single shot job, grenades, medikits, and all that kind of jazz. Um, but the most interesting bit is about the rifle, and there are loads and loads of these sniper rifles um, with all different stats. And you can also customise each one individually with different bits of equipment which change the way it works. So I've set mine up for having lots of stopping power but it has a high recoil. Um, but obviously you can set it up however you wish. Um, Alright, let's go jump into the game. So I'll take that. Um, okay. So there's a lot of stealth mechanics to this. From what I played of the introductory mission, basically, and especially on this difficulty, I imagine, although I've never played this difficulty before, really, um, I imagine that if I get seen, I'm probably going to die. So on that basis, I'm trying to not get seen. That's loud enough to cover my rifle fire. Got one done. So there are some of these engines around, and I think there are probably other mechanisms that make um, make noise that you can use to cover your shots. This is a good place to use my binoculars. Do some marking. So sniper. I've got a kill target in there. These guys aren't very much of a patroller. a couple of times trying to get my settings right. There's loads of people over here as well, which, although I can only actually see the vehicle, and you can shoot vehicles. Oh, there we are. I never didn't see you yes, uh, last time I played this. You're too far away to actually mark. Or, oh, it's a bit difficult to mark him. I might have a shot at him. I also know there should be some guards up around here, and there's a sniper's nest here, and 
although you can blow the barrels out, you also destroy another motor, which means that if you wanted to use their sniper's nest, you've destroyed your only source of noise for that part of the um, map. So I won't destroy the explosive barrels. Equally, of course, that means I'm going to be standing right next to them, so I hope I don't get spotted uh, when I eventually get over there, which you may or may not see because it's probably about 10 15 minutes away to get there. But we'll have a go. Got some long shots right against that guy. See, there is actually a long shot award, so which I haven't achieved yet, so we'll see if I can do that. I swear there should be some guys around the back here somewhere as well, but I think the map's been designed so that the cover from this particular position has actually blocked their patrol path, which is quite clever because it means, of course, you can't clear loads of the map all in one go. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's go better sort these guys out first. Helmet on. So let's shoot out the neck. Make sure it goes through. Hold breath. <laughs> I love that. Bullet time and x ray. It's just cool. Do you next? I think we've got just a cap on, so we'll go straight for the brains. <laughs> That's such a cool mechanic, I love seeing that. Uh, okay, what have we got? I'm just trying to keep myself in cover here because not so much that they're going to see me because I'm obviously using the sound to mask it, but if you're close to them, you'll see it lets me like emerge, as it says there, emerge from cover. Because if you're not quite next to it and you try and line shots up, sometimes it can kind of glitch a bit and, and you won't be able to get a shot on target so you want to be next to it to properly emerge from it to shoot anyway let's go for this guy I might be able to get him through the ear from here yeah, let's see if I could not quite still don't think he's going to know the difference He's going to be a little tricky because he's probably going to start patrolling before I can get noise cover and then I won't have any time to line up. Well, I could shoot through the canvas but I just won't be able to see exactly. So now it's just the target. And he's all on his own now, so it's going to be quite easy. Now I've moved out of... Well, as I was about to say, I've moved away from that um, motor. So now when I shoot, of course, they're going to know that it's a rifle shot rather than a, uh, rather than the engine. Um, which gives me a couple of choices. You can go loud with a machine gun. You can keep it silent with a pistol. Um, although, you know, if you get into <laughs> any kind of situation where they're going to shoot back, you don't really want to be using this. Um, but since he's a bit of a noob and he's just facing the wall, I'll go for a silent kill. Something to collect from this corpse. What am I going to get from him? Right, okay, so he had information about the base and that opens up markings for where the three officers are and I need to interrogate for a better term um, those officers in order to work out what uh, whatever the objective is to find this general violin or whoever it is anyway now the last thing I'm going to do I'm going to see if I can take out that guy from my perch I don't know if that will count as a long shot the distance is it, I wonder. Go we'll have a look. What kind of 
ranges at? It doesn't actually tell me. 129 meters. Is that a long shot? Does that count as a long shot? I don't know. I don't know what the game classes as being a long shot. My zoom is not very strong, so. I have to do it. I think it's a nice way to end the video. That barrel looks dangerous. Oh, I didn't even get any. Uh, I didn't get a long shot award for that. There must be a map we can get like a long shot award. Anyway, I'm going to leave it like that for a moment.